Hello. Um, I just bought this phone last month from one of your stores, mm -hmm. and I'm having issues with it right now. Okay, give me your details. So, what details do you need? I'll ask you one after the other. Give me the details. Your name? My name is Nikhil. Nikhil. Okay. When did you buy the phone? About a month ago. So, do you have the bill? Yes, uh, I do have a soft copy. Hard copy. Oh sure, I do have the Xerox. Here you go. Okay. Okay, what about the warranty? It's in the bill. So what is the problem with the phone? I'm unable to access the internal directories. What? Uh, here you can see it for yourself. No problem with there's no problem with the phone. What? Here, let me show this to you. I don't see any problem with the phone. What? How can you say that you don't see any problem with the phone? I just showed that to you. See, normally this is not a general problem. If at all there is a technical problem and I don't deal with technical problems here. So where do I get the technical help from? You get it from the same office, but the technical department people are, have already left for today. I don't think we can help you. You may have to come tomorrow. What the hell? Is this the kind of service you give? I'm going to sue you guys over. Did you see how this person has shouted? They are really so impossible. All these customers, they really are impossible. They don't have any logic. What can I do if the technical team is not around? <laughs> see, the way he shouted, I could have shouted back at him. But we are professionals, you see. We don't react like that. So they don't understand. Every Tom, Dick and Harry wants to come and shout at us and go. Really? Do you really think that was a professional way of handling the customer? Well, communication is not just about words. It is about the using the right gestures with the right attitude. Let's see how this same situation can be handled in a much more professional way. Here we go. Oh my god, so many issues. I'll just sue this company. I'm going to sue you guys. It's been just a week of buying the phone and already I'm having so many issues in this. So may I know what is your problem? I'm having so many issues accessing all the features of the phone. Almost nothing seems to work. I'm so sorry to hear that, sir. When did you purchase the phone? Why are you even asking? I'm anyway going to sue you all. I'm sure you must have had a serious problem, sir. But let me know first what is it, what exactly is your problem. And unless you give me the basic information, I will not be able to help you out any further, sir. So let's try to solve the problem. Okay, okay. Can you give me a solution then? So I would like to have a few details before I try to find a solution to your problem, sir. May I know your name? Nikhil. May I know when exactly you purchased the phone? About a week ago, as I told you. Can you give me the exact date, sir? 3rd March 2020. Can I have the phone, sir? Here you go. From what I see, there's no problem with the phone. However, I think our technical team will be able to help you better. So what do you mean? No solution again? So unfortunately, today is a Saturday and we work only half a day. So our technical team has left for the day. However, on Monday, first thing I tell you, your problem will be solved. I will put this across to our technical team and I'm sure they'll give you a solution to this. You mean I have to wait till Monday to get a solution? I understand, sir. You have already been facing a lot of problem with the phone. However, I personally feel that this is not a problem with the phone. It just has to be with the settings, if I am not wrong. However, since our technical team will be able to confirm it to you, this is just for a second opinion that I am asking you to convey it for the technical team's assistance. Rest assured that your problem will be solved by Monday for sure. I'll personally ensure that the technical team calls you to get the details and if required, they'll come to you and collect the phone and get your problem solved. I hope that should be fine, sir. It's just a matter of another day and I'm sure you'll find your solution, sir. Okay then, if it's Monday, 
maybe I'll wait if you're so sure about getting this repair. But if this does not get resolved by Monday, I am suing you guys. I'm sure so you will not have to take the trouble. Your problem will be solved. And if not, I'm sure your phone will be replaced. I assure you that. Okay then, I'll wait till Monday. Sounds good. Thank you sir. Nice meeting you. Very often, people take professional conversations very lightly. They think they're just dealing with people. However, if you are able to recognize the purpose of a conversation, I think it becomes easier to understand what to say and what not to say. It is very important that your focus should be towards resolving an issue, not to just deal with people and finish off your work. Communication helps you in resolving problems. As you have seen in the first case, the customer was actually not very angry, but he became irate after the nonchalant behavior or the indifferent behavior of the executive. However, in the second scenario, an irate customer was pacified by the customer service executive. So when you deal with people, you have to remember that the focus should lie on resolving issues. If you understand that trick, you can channelize your conversation and your communication in those directions. So try to understand the purpose Recognize the focus point of every conversation. If you are able to understand that, you can resolve issues. What say? I hope you learned something out of this video. If you did like our attempt, please do not forget to hit the like button, share the video as much as possible. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Your subscriptions are important to us. Also, do not forget to mention how you liked the video in the comments section and what else you're looking forward from our channel. That helps us in coming up with better content. So stay tuned for my further videos. Until then, bye-bye and see you soon.